Great, so that's just us now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us on the stream. We don't intend this one to be as big as what we're usually used to with the GT3, as we're not on the main channel at the minute due to some technical difficulties, if you will. Well, not if you will. That's it. There's a technical difficulty is not being able to get on the channel at the minute, so forced into using my personal one, which we will get uploading onto the channel. It's fairly straightforward, is offloading it onto there, but as you can see before me, we have the United Arab Emirates Abu Dhabi GP, and then tonight's going to be an absolute firecracker. We're going to get into qualifying. We uh, standard setup for the GT3 season is a 15-minute session. Uh, obviously, top of the times we'll uh, we'll get Paul here, and it's and it pays to be at the front. I think. Uh, obviously, we're running performance impact in damage. Performance impact in damage, we'll just uh, get a few little bits and bats up. So yeah, apologies for tonight, guys. We'll see if anyone's uh, coming out. There we go. So again, welcome. Welcome very much to what is round four of the Multiversing GT3 Super Saturday. This is where we are on board with Vert and Sylvester in the ever-popular AMG. Mercedes putting some heat into them. So yeah, welcome ladies and gentlemen to Super Saturday and that means only one thing Yes, the GT3 beasts are back all on track and after a busy week of testing We are here in Motor City, Dubai for round four of the Motor for Racing Super GT Saturday Championship We have come to the jewel in the desert to see what the drivers and teams come out with if they come out with gold. Two races this evening for you ladies and gentlemen. First up is our sprint. A 15 minute dash to the line and no pit stop required. Then the big one. Our feature race of the night will be double the laps of the sprint race and also up with a reverse grid so all the fast guys uh, who will be towards the back of the grid will be at the back of the grid so plenty of overtaking. Also up with the uh, super uh, blue ribbon event we also expect a mandatory pit stop. No tire change necessary but uh, you know just to spice things up a little bit we've uh, been checking on the weather forecast uh, to the United Emirates and it's some weather en route apparently. The locals are telling us that the forecast is rain expected. Not sure how that's going to shape things up. That is in the feature race that will follow our uh, sprint race that will be first up after qualifying so yeah we've got some weather on route for you it's cloud seeding at its best over in uh, Abu Dhabi and Motor City of course this track fairly new over a hundred million put into this uh, complex autodrome here 3.3 miles long FIA approved first built in 2004 so relatively new for the uh, tracks that we've visited so far here in GT3 this season and the facilities here are uh, at the top notch. They've got an FAI approved track with the uh, FAI approved uh, go kart in track. There's all sorts you can come here for track days. Plenty of racing going on here throughout the year. Now, here at GT3, we will try and do something positive and spread some light on some goodness in the world because we're all going through a bit of a tough one at the minute. So, for this week, a GT3 would like to put the spotlight on the amazing work the MS Society is doing and would like to aim, well, would like to aim to a minute of your time to try and get you involved. And there are many ways to get involved from small cash donations via their website www.mssociety.org.uk. My apologies there, ladies and gentlemen. Very quick and simple process for uh, uh, wanting to cash donation, but there are also fundraising purses. Uh, every challenge, every step taken, every cake sold, every penny earned takes us a step closer to stopping MS from volunteering and lending a hand or joining the MS research networks. There are lots of ways to offer your time to help stop MS. Help Motive Racing and campaign with us for the great cause that is the MS Society. And of course, that website again is www.mssociety.org.uk. Now, back to what's all on track at the minute. No time set as we're looking at Mr. Forsten Schmidt, our Belgian burst driver in the heart of Germany. He's had a tough out in, you would say. He's had the pace as he gets very sideways there. We're on board with his teammate. The Borussia Sport Sim Racing Team are uh, currently P2 in the Team Constructors Championships. Boston himself is uh, Peter in the driver, so there's really not a lot between them all. I have got a lot of notes, and we'll get into that tonight, but the boys are basically separated by a couple of points here and there in the championship. Now, extra incentive for the lads uh, mid-pack and towards the back. The bottom six drivers will be eliminated from the elite tier. So, we will have 
the boys really fighting tooth and nail to get up into the top 10 spots come the end of the season. So, you know, there's not just a motive and incentive for the lads at the front to win the gold and trophies and whatnot. The, the, the lads that want to stick it out and are keen on it will be try fighting tooth and nail to, uh, to actually get into those spots. We've got Trackside as we're on board or just... Coming around the last corner now as Mr. Olimar, the French driver, sets up to his lap to go. And he looks like he's closely collared by uh, Ayrton Sebast, I think. Nope, that has to be Sebast, Varna. Which we'd have a great on board. Let's have a quick on board here. This is going to be an easy lap by Seb. Currently six tenths down on Ayrton, his uh, teammate, the Sebast Stefano race team. Represented very well, very quick in the Mercs as Seb gets very sideways there. Looks like both cars at the minute, just trying to warm those tyres up, put a bit of uh, heat into them. Same said throughout the field there. Mr. Dalavan himself, currently sitting P1 in the Drivers' Championship and first in the Team Championship. The POC Champion boys going very well, 195 points to the POC Champs. Uh, he took gold last time out in the Bruno GP feature. So Dalavan on form, coming into the sprint after the highs of Bruno and performing there. What can uh, Italian driver David Du currently sitting P3, two and a half tenths off the uh, the Mercedes. They seem to be going very well. And this is Daircross, our uh, Puerto Rican driver. And I want to express some apologies to uh, Daircross right now. I've been saying his name wrong, for, oh, but I've been uh, also pronouncing where he is. Lives very much wrong for the majority of the season. So uh, I'm going to hold my hands up here now. Uh, the Puerto Rican driver has very much impressed throughout the season for his young age and the mentality and head on his shoulders. He's a great racer. It's good to see him uh, in the mix and also going pretty strong at the minute, you have to say. Two and a half seconds off. You know, but other than the uh, Svest race team there, P1 and 2, everyone's around that two second gap. So it seems pretty close back. Tim Oscu, our German driver, promoted from the junior categories, i.e. Tier 2. So it's fantastic to watch the tiers actually work, and it's, this is a living example of it. Tim, recently promoted from, uh, I think it was Donnett and onwards, and has impressed a lot. He's been a bit unlucky in some of the races, picking up damage, hampering his lap times throughout, but has picked up good, solid points, and it's uh, an absolute pleasure to have our German driver on board with us in the desert. Currently sitting on a 157.9. Can he improve? We'll have to see. All into the pit. Back with Evan now, our Irish driver from Tiffany. Evan, of course, is sitting in P9 in the championship, so only just in the safety spots. Of course, again, P10 championship. They will then go so it'll be safe. Anyone P11 onwards will be relegated, so, you know, they're going to fight tooth and nail over it. But Evan, of course, ninth in the driver's championship. Had a... Uh, had a bad Bruno GP. Had a poor Juno GP, actually. And is looking to add points to the Broad Sport Sim Racing team. Hopefully he can uh, add a few on tonight. Currently sitting P7. Not a bad time for the Lamborghini driver. Good to see him out. Mr. Uzi Styles, Another guy that's floating around that uh, safety position at the minute. Currently sat in P12. He is indeed. He's nine points off safety. So nine points off 10 position. So that's he's in P12. So P11. You know, it's so close between them all. There's literally points between them. In fact, P11 is uh, Chris. Who's out on track at the minute? Is... Uh, as I've been murdering Chris's name as well throughout the season. As he's just about to uh, take that Bentley out for a spin. To die across in the background there. A uh, bit of news from the uh, Bentley race team from Donington onwards. They've been trying out different chassis, uh, different fuel nicks and modes. That's great to see the boys really uh, putting in the time there. But yeah, they've been having a bit of a tough time of it, I must say, in the Bentley crew. Team Thunder is really happy now the uh, test went. Chris is showing good pace for the sprint and in the future. We've also brought updates to Ubar's car. The Flying Dutchman currently sat in P13. Them updates not quite working yet, but to be fair, he hasn't actually set a time. So we'll see how them updates to Ubar's car is working. The Flying Dutchman from Dreep. There's always lots of work to do with the new car parts and we'll be competitive in Dubai. Still, our goal is to bring both cars home and aim in for the top six spots. At this point in the championship, we also need to focus and stay in the top 10 overall. So Chris, yeah, understanding the importance of being in those top 10 spots come the end of the season. Let's have a little on board of Uber at the minute, see what he's up to. Looks like he's about to come up around the latter half of the lap, maybe uh, putting a time in. Six minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. He is in sector three at the minute, is Uber. But the news from the Broad Sports Sim Racing team is looking forward to the Dubai GP. It'd be one of a few that is. The practice tells us we can fight for the victory. This is uh, Brock, Thorson, Smith and Evan. Uh, both of the Lamborghini drivers. Uh, they're hoping to fight for the win, the victory. Hope Thorson can go at his pace in the race. Evan is struggling a bit with the Lamborghini, but his pace is looking good. 
So that's encouraging, and you know, what is written and said, it, it really translates. Currently, uh, where is Forsen Smith at the minute? It's a difficult one to point out. He's P11 with no time set, and his teammate P7 at the minute, so you know, there or thereabouts, but uh, uh, Forsen definitely looking to get towards the sharp end of the grid, P3, P2, P something like that, because he needs to get in the mix there and start chipping away at the uh, Stefan Severino race team. Oopa, across the line, two minute flat, P10. Good effort. Coming around again. Plenty of time to send another lap. Back up on board. That is a Ferrari. M shell. Missed a couple of rounds as our Dutch driver. 14th in the championship. Did miss the last round for the GP, so a little bit rusty. This is him coming back into the GT3 picture. He's got behind the wheel of that 488 again. And he's just trying to get reacquainted with her. Just trying to uh, fettle and play around with it to see what sort of speed he can get out. But at the minute, sat just outside of the top 10 position. Big gap of six seconds off at the minute. Forsen still to set the time, and he's still in the pit. Kurt, where is Kurt on the lap? He's definitely going for it. We're about to have a quick on board with Kurt. He's just coming around the first section of track. So P14 at the minute, no lap time set, along with Andy and Forsten. We expect all three of them, really, to be towards the front. So at the minute, and Stefano is leading the way. Beautiful sounding there, V8. They're coming flying through. So Ed Savasto, our Argentinian driver, currently third in the Drivers' Championship, 14 points behind Forsen Smith. And first and second in Bruno. So he's coming off a hell of a result last round, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, encourage you all, if you've not actually caught up with any of GT3 rating, to watch the previous rounds. The action has been absolutely non-stop from start to finish. It doesn't matter where these boys are out on track. There is fighting, overtaking, and it's clean as well, and that's what we like to see. But I strongly encourage you to uh, go check that out. And so far, it's currently a 155, pretty much flat. Also, I know this is on the Twitch channel, but please go visit the Motive Racing Discord channel and the YouTube channel. Hit like and subscribe and that follow button. Every little like and every thumbs up supports the GT3 lads out here tonight at Motive Racing. And we're doing it for a good cause, the MS Society. So by leaving us a thumbs up and a like on the stream, you're not only supporting the MS Society, but all the GT3 drivers out on track. And it looks like I've got very side just there, but Ollie as well, he's coming up on the marking signs at the minute, uh, lap trapped in valid. So he's having a bit of a tough one there as our French driver in the pit and in the pit too. Three minutes to go. He looks like he's happy with that. And why not? He's a full 1.8. We've lost a driver somewhere through that. Sure who that was. The three minutes. There is time for the guy to get back in as Forston comes around. P11 in a minute. No lap time set. Across the line, he goes straight into third with a 156. He is a second point three off P1 out and so fast, but that's a good position to be in for the Lamborghini driver. His teammate pushed down from P7 to P8 now, but falls in a good spot. Andy still to set a time. I don't think he's going to get out to do one. Where is Kurt? So Kurt must be seeing Dicross and Forsten in front. Yeah, just about to see Forsten up ahead. Fantastic shot. These boys going through this section of the track. Kurt really needs to set a lap time, and that's not going to be the one, unfortunately. M Shell, that Dutch driver again coming across the line, still outside of a top 10 position. But I do have faith that he can improve as Chris exits the pits. Maybe trying to sort some uh, fuel loads out. Die cross into the pit now, that'll be him. So currently, and so fast, 155 flat. Sebastofano, 155.7, big gap, six temps, seven temps for all intents and purposes. And has a big healthy gap over his uh, the field at the minute. So from the timings and selections, ladies and gentlemen, we're expecting out and so fast. Hopefully, if, he, if it goes the right way, he'll be able to get Seb to sort of back him up a little bit. Uh, his teammate there, and Ayrton hopefully he should be able to pull a gap, I imagine. And he'll be difficult to beat. Forst really needs to try and get himself up in the mix along with Dalavan and Dicross early game. Because if the late they leave it, the longer that uh, AMG is going to pounce. And check this out, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone board with uh, Chris up this 1,200 meter stretch of road here. This is where the Bentley's really going to stretch its legs along with the AMG. So you really need to be on it first sector to get in within the AMG. Heavy braking zone now. So what sort of line Chris Pichoup takes. It's an out and an out lap. It does look like Bentley sounding absolutely fantastic. Where is Delavan at the minute? That 408 at full chat. Just coming around the same section. About to come onto the straight. Currently uh, 1.8 off the pace. Let's see what his uh, times are like. Currently two tenths off his best. So no improvement. Die cross. Just coming back at the back end of that. Is that Andy in the background? Is it Andy? It is Andy. He's got a minute to get to the line. I reckon he'll be able to do it. So, 
Mr. Stale has managed to join us, thank God. And it's good to see, and he's left the session again, so we're having a bit of a technical difficulties here, but uh, thank you everybody on the Twitch channel for joining us. A little bit regular tonight, as we meant to be on the YouTube channel, however, YouTube is not letting us log in. It's been a bit of a pain in the ass, and Kurt resets and goes again. Currently, P12 for our British driver there. He wants to do better, he can do better. Ollie into the pit, Tim into the pit. I think they've done enough. Forcing is into the pit, must be happy with the outlipes that it says. And to be fair, he's got her over like four or five tenths on the car behind, which is Dalavan. So it'll be interesting to see if anyone could jump that far up. So Forston feels safe at the minute. So that's one, two, and three. Really, Dalavan, Diacross are the guys that are going to be challenging for that. Andy hasn't set a lap yet, Kurt neither. Ubar still out on track, still needs to find three tenths to get in that top ten position. But in a minute, does look like Dalavan's just about to get a lap in. Nope, into the pit. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen, for all the bacon, for all the marbles now. This is it. No more reset buttons. Whereabouts is Chris on track? Apologies for that, but he's coming up to the latter sector. We have got cars coming into there. Can I just jump up board, find who that is? It is Evans. So Evans will be our first car to come around the uh, last corner now. P8, 159 to beat. He was about two tenths down on his best, to be fair. So I don't think we're going to see an improvement. Across the line from the Irish driver in Tiffany. It was an improvement. However, this is a bit too far off. Who is next on track for us there? And does he improve? Not with a back end spinning around like that. Where is Kurt? Chris, there is somebody around that section. Sorry, guys. It must be Sebastian. No, it's not, and I have no idea who it is. It's Kurt. Sorry, guys. There we go. Kurt, back on track now. Currently outside of a top 10 position by some way as well, so you would have thought he's not actually managed to get a representative lap time of uh, British driver. Around the last corner now. Over the line. P10. 201. Still on a 2017. Not getting the time in there. Andy now for all the marbles. There is a car out in front. Looks like it's Ty Cross, though. So. Jump on board to die across now, get trackside now. We'll see him come across the line along with Andy, but at the minute it's looking very much like a Mercedes lockout 1 2 at the front of a round 4 sprint race. Of course, we get the sprint race underway, ladies and gentlemen. Once it's done, we have our blue ribbon event, our feature race. It'll be double the distance of this 15 minute race. So please stick with us once we get this sprint race sorted. We have another race upcoming. We'll allow the drivers to get the drinks we feel. Die cross using all the track there. It's our Puerto Rican driver. Coming round, turn 60, last bend. He is currently on a 157.4 P5. Does he improve? No improvement. Is that Andy just in the background coming across the line? Does he set a time? He does. He jumps into P8. Good to see the left ended man actually getting a result in the air there. Andy looked like he was struggling just to get a lap in, to be fair. But P8 pushes Ollie out, the, uh, his teammate, out of the top 10 positions. But this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Ayrton and Sebastian. Sebastian doing very uh, wise there, checking out where the pit entrance is, letting him know where he has to break. He's going to pick up a second or two knowing that information there, so very wise from the Argentinian driver. And there we have it. The qualifying results are done. That is it for tonight. Uh, reverse grid for the feature race, so that means no more qualifying. And it's Ayrton Stefano that's going to pick up the extra point for the fastest lap and pole position. We are about to get going here at Motive Racing, but before we do, please check out the link in the Discord. Please come and join us. Everything's absolutely 100% free. We have some exciting news on the uh, Assessor Corsa Competizione uh, coming to console as of next month. And we are taking up memberships and new drivers. All we ask is if you're clean and interested in joining the uh, Motive Racing ACC League, Please come and click the link. We'll get you up and signed up. With that said, let's get the boys into this sprint session.
Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Needs must, as lead co. You don't really get too much time to run to the toilet and back, so you've got to use your time wisely. And that was it. So, again, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to what is Super Saturday, and that can mean only one thing. The GT3 Beasts, they're out on track, they're ready to go, setting up now. Ed Stefano and Sebastian Stefano in the duel in the desert. Come and see what the drivers and team have got. Who will come out with gold? Two races this evening. First up, our sprint, which you see before you, and our reverse grid feature afterwards. Thank you for big thank you to uh, Taylor Logistics for sponsoring the season. We're about to go lights out here. This is it. Round four, race one of the night. Ayrton Safal race team have locked out the front row with Delavan, the prancing horse, and the raging bull that is forced and in the lime green Lambo behind. We're about to get going here for Motive Racing. Round four, GT3, Super Saturday, Dubai Autodrome GP. Who's going to come out on top? We are... Lights out! Here we go, and it looks like a great start from Forston. He's going to pull out there. Will the uh, Merc have to go defensive? Losing a few drivers. Having a look a bit further back here. Fantastic shot. Just make sure the boys are all behaving themselves. Coming into turn one. We don't want damage coming in. On board with Chris now. A little further back. Behaving themselves. Great line by Kurt through there. Just keeping himself busy. Oli really in a sandwich now. Forston's round. Forston Smith is round. Wow! Championship contender Forsen Smith, the best Stefano is round of two. This is unbelievable. The championship leader and second place are round in the first corner. Back up with the action. And Stefano probably cannot believe his look. What a gap he's pulled out. Dalavan right behind him. Evan from P7 has managed to come up into P3. I don't know how the Irish driver from Tiffany has done it. And reports through testing is he's not feeling comfortable with the car. So, uh, I don't know where that's come from. Evan now P3. Dicross sits behind and he's been chased by a pack. We'll go on board now with Oli, the left-handed man, trying to chase Kirk down the 1.2 meter straight here. Kirk with a flash of the headlights, not happy about something. Tint weaving around in the draft there. Can obviously weave around once to cut the draft. Oh, and look at that. Dicross on the inside. Tim caught out a little bit. Tim needs to watch the draft and it looks like Kurt is side by side. Oli's had to concede the position. A little further up. Great shot of the boys coming through what is turn 11 and 12. Fantastic. Evan with a train behind him at the minute. It looks like Tim's gone, tried for the undercut, and he's got it. Trackside now as the boys are side by side. Fantastic. I wonder what shot they've got of these boys coming down here. They're going to be side by side into this. What's got to give? Dicross, the Puerto Rican driver, versus Tim, the German driver, the tier two prospect, the hot shot that's come on up. Little sideways coming around that corner, and Kurt is also very much on the side of Oli. They're both giving each other the room to race. That's fantastic to see coming into the last corner now. Who's going to give the Lambo renowned for being strong around the corners? The Audi, though, with the turbo. So here we go. It's anybody's race. It's Kurt now. He's on the back end of Volimar now, the French driver, and it's all to play for. Coming across the start, finished one lap down. Big talking point in the races. Where the bloody hell is Forston? What has happened to Sebast? Something went wrong at the first corner. Sideways, back of the pack. Although Chris and Ubath, the uh, team funded down under drivers, the Bentley drivers are not having it their own way. That chassis not working. A little further back, let's have a look at them. Looks like a bit of damage on the front of Chris as well as the bass makes his way through. Looks like Thorson's now found his way onto the back of Emschel. Emschel takes the line. This would be a brave position. It'd have to be a very much compliant Emschel. Can he look like he got a bit of a flash of a lights there? Thorson through into P8. Tim now. On the ass end of that 911, trying to keep Dad cross the proving drive into uh, his aims. Sorry, the Puerto Rican driver. I will get it right, my friend. Tracks eye now as they blast up the short straight. The prancing horse is chasing down the 911 in front. It's German engineer in about wacky Italian design. Let's have it. Down the straight, let's have a look. A little further off, Kurtz lost a bit of ground there. He must have had something go wrong with the exit off turn nine. Back up at the front, and Savas has managed to pull a three-second gap. And Savas currently P3 in the championships. Currently, uh, you know, he's at 14 points behind Forston. So Forston needs to try and pick up as many places as he can. But it looks like the point the boys are all going to be shuffled about. And look who's in second, our Italian driver, David. He has done this all season. He's put himself in, um, in or thereabouts. And while people have made mistakes, he has constantly picked up the pieces. As Dicross now, he's been absolutely stalked by Tim behind. 
watching the Ferrari through the uh, complex here of turn 14 into turn 15. Looks a little stronger, I have to say, than the 911, but uh, Puerto Rican driver doing a top job, and Evan just in front holding P3. So we have a big fight on for the last podium spot that is P3, and it looks like Ollie's on the back end of that too. Not as close though. Stick on board with him, coming down the start, finish straight. Exit of turn 16 into turn 1 here. We'd love to know what happened to Forston and what happens to Sebastian. Hopefully there was no contact there and it was just an error of uh, judgment on driving so we have no stewards inquiries. But again, come and get yourself involved with all the action that we see out here tonight. We have LMP2 leagues that has run just after this one with the Flying Dutchman currently in P12. Smurphy51, get on the chat and tell us Tell, well, tell the Flying Dutchman to get his flying bloody boot down because he needs to go. He's P12 at the minute. Two seconds off his teammate. Fantastic racing at the minute. Tim being very patient. Ten minutes down. Five minutes gone. And Sebastian P1. Delavan P2. Emmett P3. Doing a fantastic job though, but it's anyone's game from P6 onwards, which is Olimar, the French driver of the left handed men. Better exit that time from the Lamborghini. We'll stick with Ollie as they're coming up the uh, little blast here. Gives a chance to really stretch the legs. It's where the AMG is going to be a little strong. Does look like that Lambo's carried a bit more downforce than the uh, two cars in front. Difficult one, though, because they're all getting each other's draft, so it's hard to determine. I add on to the brakes into turn 10. Difficult one. That's all he proves why. They're going wide now, and Forston nearly losing the back end there. We just, just caught a picture of the lime green broad sports in racing team there. Having a tough one, really... It does look like Forsen's overdriving the car to try and make up the positions and, uh, it, you know, he'll go one way or the other and usually you end up pushing it just a bit too far. So hopefully Forsen can keep it pointing in the right direction. But look at in the background there, Emma Schalk and Kurt Sebast having their own little internal fight. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, the, the fights, once you pass P10, are real. The points on offer... Kurt's trying to line up Sebas race team there and I seem to think that he's got some damage there. It looks like Tim's even closer this time round. 9-11 on the inside now trying to take P3. We've got a straight up drag into turn one now. 9-11 versus Lamborghini and will the Ferrari try and get himself involved there? We've got cast up together. Evan and Dicross with a little bit of a disagreement coming up the straight and Tim nearly fell victim of that one. Tim backed off a little bit Evans conceded the spot just for now. A little flash of the lights from uh, Puerto Rican driver. It wasn't happening there as Evans gone very wide. Can he pull it back on track side? As Tim's going to try and hang it around the outside. For a second there, I thought two trailer park Ferraris were going to go around the outside. And it looks like Forsen's managed to pull up onto the back of only two. He tried to cut back here. He put his foot down. He does all he will he cut on him. He did. He didn't see that Forster was up the inside of him. No damage done. The boy's still... As they are, a little flash of lights for Molly though, but I'm pretty sure if you would watched the lap delta, Forster was in front on position. You need to be aware of the uh, overtakes being made and give the, the room to them. That is how we'll encourage overtaking and proper driving, as it looks like Dicross now spreading his legs. He's managed to pin in front of the Broadsport Sim Racing driver. Our Irish driver there. He's gonna have to go on trackside, it looks like, for all intents and purposes, Tim got very sideways. So the boys just about losing the grip here. We are on. I must stress to everybody involved that we are running performance impacting damage. So if you make a mistake, the mistake is real. You will feel that. That's why I think Sebast is a little far off there. He may have incurred a little bit of damage. His lap times, not quite what they were. And Sebast at a 156. There's no one on track with him with that. But then again, there's no one on track that's in free air. Kurt P9, Emma Shell P10. It's all still to play for with seven minutes on the clock. Back with the action. Only losing pace a tiny bit with the pack there, but he's still on him, still in with a shout. And it looks like Evan's really struggling now. The Lamborghini's tires, uh, temps are through the roof. Forston, a little look there. There's a German on German crime into the last corner there. Forston lines Tim up again. Can he get the run? Tim, of course, will have the draft in front of the Lamborghini driver. Of course, Evan and Forston in the same team. The broad short sim racing team, currently P2 in the championships. Cost Forsen having a look at the inside again. Tim did see him and gave him the room. Good driving, but he's still kept the position at the minute. It's good driving from him, though. They did see the move happen. It was Marvara Haas half attempt by Forsen, but Tim was very obliged there and has only snuck his way through there, too. Very optimistic by the French driver there coming through. 
Mr. Forster making a move and the French driver there nibbled on the bit and Tim lost another position. What's Evan up to at the minute? Still keeping strong. What a point scoring position this would be. It really knocked things on the head with Sebastian. Well down in P8 at the minute. This will be a chance for the Broadfort Sim Racing team to gain some points back. Of course, they probably down a lot more points if uh, it wasn't for the spin at the start. But that is racing, ladies and gentlemen. Tim on the RZ now pulls out of the draft. We may have a double overtake here. Forston pulls out the draft too. And Evan, that's his teammate. That's going to happen in front. We'll have to go trackside. Evan very compliant there for the uh, Bourgeois Sim Racing team. Forston proving to be the faster of the two drivers. There's not much in it. I mean, a very accomplished driver in his own right. And in the background, oh, he's gone wide. He's gone round. Hopefully, he doesn't pick up any damage. And a shout just a little too far away there to really give him a warning, a yellow flag. Of course, there is one driver out on a flag, but he's not with us tonight. Is John Cope serving a yellow flag for exactly what we'd seen out on track with constant cutting. Forston now has made his way through P4, looking slightly healthier and chasing down Dicross, the Puerto Rican driver, the 15 year old. Now, I would say that this is a done deal, but Dicross has proven time after time and again that he can make that 911 as wide as needs to be. It'll make life extremely difficult for Boston, so this is nothing set in stone quite yet. I'm looking a bit further back. Tim still sticking with what is kind of the lead pack. Good to see. What is Ollie up to? He seems to have got going again, and him and M. Shelk are going to try and drag it out at the snap finish. It's Lambo versus. 488. Looks like the Lambo just got the drive out the corner. Is that a done deal? It is indeed. M. Shelt, very wise there. Pulls back out. Does give Ollie another little look. Something to think about, perhaps. And Sebas, meanwhile, while the boys have been fighting a bong themselves, had a bit of an issue coming into turn one. Was up in P2, I believe. Span around along with Mr. Forsen Schmidt and have uh, had to recover ever since. Forsen, of course, P4 at the minute. Sebas P7, Forsen having the uh, rub of the green, if you like, but uh, from the mistake. But currently, Forsen in a great spot to try and hunt down what is the last podium spot as we will go on board with him. Dicross very wide, he's lost it. Dicross is round, he is round, and he's going to lose a lot of positions there. Dicross has managed to get it going in, in the right direction, though, so Sebas is through as well. He is indeed. Where is Ollie in all this? Go on board, too far off. Back up with the pack. There's something for the books. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. That has recruited Forston Smith into a podium spot. Forston back where he qualified. In a very comfortable position, may I add, because he has uh, the Broad Sport Sim Racing driver, his teammate, Evan, behind him. So he has some protection from behind. Tim will have to try and find a way around the Irish driving Tiffany. It will not be an easy task. Maybe a mistake somewhere in the lab. And a shout now. Really hassling Ollie. What looks like they're coming to the last sector. And it is Ollie really struggling to put the power down. It did look like Emma Shout just had to come out of it a little bit. Look on board and Emma Shout as they're coming into turn 14. Tricky one. Double apex. Lots of different lines to be used through this uh, corner. It's really driver preference which one you prefer. But uh, it's like Tim and Evan have picked up a penalty. So back on with Tim now. Still trying to find a way around the Irish driver. Of course, Tim, living proof that the tier systems work. He is promoted from tier two into the elite tier and has impressed since he got here. It's been fantastic to watch the German driver out on track, mixing it up with the big boys. It's a shame we lost a few cars uh, during the first opening laps. So for the feature, we will have a full grid. It looked like Tim did very well to try and save the back end of that. Is that going to allow Sebast to catch up just a little bit? But we'll run through. Not much run time from that Sebast at the minute. Coming down the uh, long, long straight. So what I want to do is just check what sort of speed that uh, Ayrton's doing when he comes down to the bottom. 150s. Onto the brakes. What's he doing? Round 158. Oh, we don't want to be doing that. What's the, Lam what's the Ferrari doing? Adela Van behind. Very similar times. What Forston? We'll check out what the Lamborghini driver is doing. He's renowned Forston for tuning the car up right, so I imagine there's a little bit more top end in that one, but we'll yet to see. We're seeing about 158 from everybody else. The uh, Lamborghini a little slower. Having about there. Fantastic. Dicross carrying a lot of damage. Is that going to allow Ollie to catch up? Ollie only two seconds behind, chasing down that P7 position, and MS Schalke is not letting the uh, left handed man driver get in the way. Back with Tim now. Look at the gap. Forster has managed to pull two seconds on these two who are arguing between themselves and doing a fantastic job keeping the German driver behind him. We have a minute to go, ladies and gentlemen. 
pop up that map. Another disconnect, unfortunately, to see. And it does look like, for intensive purposes, uh, it's fast it will be the last lap. Coming across the line, we have a minute 11 to go. So I think this is going to be the last lap, ladies and gentlemen. With eight laps, which will make that around a 16, 17 lap feature race. Stick with us. This isn't over, ladies and gentlemen. Tim's still trying to hunt down Evan. And he looks like he may have it here. Evan's going to have to give him the room he does. You can see this slight steering adjustment from the Irish driver. And he slides it right back. Evan trying to jump out the way of the draft. Fantastic job. And forced him to pull out another second while these two squabbling. So Evan doing a great job at the minute. Tim pulls out the draft. Trying to show Evan a different look into turn one. MS now. And Ollie. All within second of each of us. A die cross, MS Shell, and Olimar are all fighting over P7. Sebas, meanwhile, trying his best to catch up, but there's been a couple of seconds pulled there. So Sebas, Tim, and Evan all within the realms of each other. Forsten holding on to do that last podium spot. Hey, and Sebas has controlled this race from start to finish. I am not going to call it yet. He's just come off the long start finish, but as it stands at the minute, He's been very dominant. Good lap time's been set out by himself. Not had to worry too much about being caught up in any of the dramas. Good lap by Tim last time around. And we'll jump on board quickly. Just have a look what Ollie's up to with Dykos in front. So this is going to be a fight down to the line. I don't expect another lap. So this will be it, ladies and gentlemen. Dykos currently holding strong. Also carrying a lot of damage with the Puerto Rican driver on that 911. He's limping that one home. And it does look like Ayrton uh, Safast so is coming up around the last couple of sectors. Hard on to the brakes so of the boys coming into sector two. Fantastic driving. And Savas, round turn 16 for what I think is the last lap of this sprint race. And he's going to come around and take the gold. I'm sure this is the last lap. It's not, I apologise. But and Safast so takes gold in the sprint race. Fantastic driving, buddy. Well deserved. Dalavan doing what he's done all season and has just stayed there and thereabouts and he's going to pick up a podium spot. P2 for Dalavan. Good points by our Italian driver. Forston with a bit of stake at the start of the race has managed to recover very, very well. Good driving from both him and his teammate behind and it looks like we've got a fight here ladies and gentlemen. The side by side. Who's going to take it? Fourth and fifth? Ever just about holds on. Fantastic driving by both the Irishman and the driver there. Sebast with a horrible stab but managed to recover to P6. Dicross now did lead the way against Oli and MS Schalt. So here we go. Across the line. Doesn't look like there's going to be any uh, any improvement for either one of the driver. But literally across the line. P9. Well done, boys. Fantastic driving. Kurt with a very limped Audi. It doesn't look like it's been a pleasure to drive that. Hopefully our British driving can get it sorted. Get it back on track for the future. Across the line. P10. Holds the last P10 spot. Chris of the team Thunder from down under the race team have very disappointing sprint race. Hopefully the boys can get it sorted for the feature. Both him and his teammate will start from P1 and P2. So they've got the best opportunity to do it. Of course, stick with us on the channel, please, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, by the flying Dutchman across the line. That's going to be it for our sprint race, our first round of racing tonight. Stick with us, please, everybody, because we'll be back with the feature race. We'll have a 16-lap race with some weather thrown in so we'll let the boys get the drinks up and nicotine levels to a degree and then we will get going so please stick with us remember to hit like and subscribe and come and join the discord channel this has been our sprint race of the night and Ernst Stefano our Italian Argentinian driver has been an absolute masterclass Delavan P2 Forston P3 fantastic well done boys well done lads just Get your drinks together and get your nicotine levels up and whatnot, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm just going to quick screenshot of the uh, results. So, well done, boys. I don't know how much you can hear of it, but um, very impressed. Very good racing.